Gents, I get it. You want to put to use that suit that's sitting in the back of your closet and has been doing nothing but gathering dust the last couple years. Or maybe you want to get more mileage out of a blazer and you're trying to figure out how far can I dress this thing down. Or it could be you love denim, you're not going to cheat on it, but you want to know how can I dress these jeans up? Well, the key to correctly matching a jacket with jeans is pretty simple. You just need to nail these five things. You've got to make sure you've got the right type of jacket, the right type of jeans, the right type of shirt, the right type of shoes, and ensure that you're wearing it in the right situation. Now, notice that point in the center where all five circles intersect. That is where you want to be. So first up, the right type of jacket. Now, the three most common jackets you're going to see out there are suit jackets, sports jackets, and blazer jackets. Small differences between them, but in general, a suit jacket is going to come with a pair of trousers made from the same material. This is pretty common out there, and if this is your only suit, if you wear this often, do not wear this with jeans. The reason being is that this is made to go with those trousers, and you don't want to mess this up. It would behoove you to go out there and maybe grab a sports jacket or a blazer jacket, which in general are more versatile, or maybe to even go to the thrift store, pick up an inexpensive suit, and then to wear that jacket with the jeans. Next up, let's talk about sports jackets. As the name implies, about 100 years ago, these broke out of suit jackets as separates made to be worn during sport. But in general, we do not see sports jackets come with matching trousers. They are sold as separates. Sports jackets also come in a wide variety of colors and patterns. In fact, compared to suits, you're going to see much stronger, brighter, bold patterns in sports jackets from houndstooth to glen check to all types of just different tweeds. Now, blazer jackets, if you can imagine, are kind of a hybrid between a suit jacket and a sports jacket. They're a little bit more formal than most blazers because they usually come in a solid color unless they're a regatta blazer. But in general, we're going to see these made from a navy blue material. Most jackets out there are going to lean towards the formal side. That makes it very difficult to be able to wear with jeans, which are casual. But there are some jackets out there. In general, 80 to 90 percent of sports jackets out there, you could find a way to make them work. The same with blazers. Although I will say that blazers are going to be a bit dressier and you're going to really want to make sure that you wear the darkest, you just wear jeans that really work. Or if you're going to go you know, a little bit more fashion forward, that you're able to wear the combination with confidence. Now, in general, when it comes to a suit, this is much harder to wear with jeans than a sports jacket or a blazer. But if it's made from a material with patterns that are pretty bold, that would actually be maybe a good candidate to break it up to get more miles out of this garment. Now, black and charcoal, those are very formal colors and they don't normally work with a casual pair of denim, although there are instances where you can actually, if you got black denim, if you've got really dark denim, it can work in certain situations if you know how to pull it off. That being said, as we're covering the upper part of the body, let's talk about what brings the jeans and jacket together, and that is the right shirt. So the easy default here is a white button down. I get it. If you're a younger guy, you own a tech company, maybe you want to go for the whole dark, maybe v-neck t-shirt with the denim and jacket. You could try pulling it off. You've really got to make sure you nail the fit. And if you're going to do that, make sure you go with a quality t-shirt that drapes well, that has just a great fit on your body type. Now, for me personally, when it comes to layering, because that's what it is when you have a shirt and you throw a jacket over it, I want something that's comfortable. So with my shirts, I'm looking for a stretch. I'm looking for a strong collar that isn't going to fall under the jacket. I want something that just feels comfortable. And a polo is usually where it's at. Now, the problem with most polos, as many of you guys know, is that they've got really weak collars. Collars that wrinkle up after one wash and just, yeah, will all of a sudden sag underneath the jacket and it's not a good look. Well, gents, if you're looking for a polo shirt that has a strong dress shirt like collar, look no farther than today's sponsor, Collars & Co. Now, guys, I've been talking about this company for the last year because I love what they do. Incredibly comfortable four-way stretch fabrics mixed in with a collar that is not going to let you down. Now, the whole purpose of Collars & Co. was to build a shirt that could be layered upon. So, something you can wear with a sweater, with a sports jacket, and they did that by putting in a built-in collar collar state, a strong front placket. And what we get is a perfectly designed collar that's going to stay up all day, not be flappy, not look like a bacon type collar. This thing is beautiful. I mean, if you wanted to pair this thing with a necktie, you could do it. When it comes to collar types, go over to their website, check out all their options. They've got cutaway collars. They've got Oxford button downs. They've got semi spreads and they've got English spread. In addition, they've got a wide variety of colors and patterns. So of course, you've got the go-tos, you've got the navy blue, you've got the white, pink, and a variety of other solids. So again, if you want to mix it up, you want to change it up, you want something that's going to be a little bit brighter, maybe underneath that sweater, you want something that's going to grab attention when you're wearing that sports jacket, they've got you covered with all these different materials. In fact, one of my favorite colors right here, look at this blue 
houndstooth. Get in there and look at the pattern. What I love about this from a distance, it looks like a solid, but you get up close, just absolutely beautiful. And patterns like this are so great if you just simply want to wear it with a gray sweater, a blue sweater, look at how it makes the whole outfit pop. And personally, as a traveler, what I love is the material not only has that four-way stretch incredibly comfortable, but it's wrinkle resistant. So this is something I can pack in, take right out of my bag, throw on and wear. In a nutshell, gents, you get the look of a dress shirt without having to actually wear a dress shirt. Fast shipping, a satisfaction guarantee, gents, Collars & Co. has you covered. If you want a shirt to be able to easily wear it with a jacket and jeans, you can layer them with sweaters. They're just so comfortable with that four-way stretch. Really a great company, great products. Go check them out and use that link in the description of today's video to make sure you get the best deal on the web. All right, so now let's talk about the jeans that you want to wear with your jacket. The vast majority of jeans out there are going to be on the casual side. So if you're going to wear these with a jacket, you really want to go for those jeans that are going to be a bit dressier, not, not formal, no such thing as formal jeans, but those that are over there on that dressier side. So these are going to be free from distress. They're in general going to be darker colors. So when it comes to distress denim, light colored denim. When it comes to stone washes, classic blue denim, I mean, there are instances that you can pull this off. If you're a rock star, if you've got the confidence, if you own the company, if you love the look, then yeah, go for it. But for the vast majority of us mere mortals, I would recommend going with a dark denim. Maybe you can go even with black denim and there are options out there, you know, charcoal gray, something really, really dark colored. That is going to work best with sports jackets, with blazers, with suit jackets. I also like it when the denim's a bit heavier in weave. So if you can find something raw, something in indigo, that really, really looks good. And people can clearly tell that this is denim, but, you know, mixed in with that dark color with, again, a, maybe a dark sports jacket or a sports jacket with a little bit of pop and color, I think you can pull off this combination. Now, when it comes to the fit, I'm going to go for a tapered cut. I'm going to go for a slim cut and maybe a straight cut. Avoid skinny, avoid really loose denim. And we're starting to see, again, things go towards the looser side. Be careful of that, especially if you're going with a jacket that's a bit more fitted. And this is something I didn't hit on the jackets too much, but if you've got a well fitted jacket. You want to go with well-fitted denim. They should match up in about that type of fit. So if you've got really close-fitted denim with a loose jacket, that combination there is just not going to work. It's going to be off. So make sure that the fit on that jacket, if you like your jacket's a little bit looser, it's okay to go with a straight fit pair of denim. Bonus point here, let's talk about that hem. So in general, you never want to be wearing denim that's three to four inches too long. Even if you're going to be rolling that denim at the bottom, you want to make sure that you've got that, you know, you are making the choice here. Now, if you're going to be wearing this denim with boots, which is very possible with a sports jacket, there are tons of boot options out there. You can go a little bit longer in the length of the denim. If you're going to be wearing it though with dress shoes, this is where you want to make sure that it is hemmed properly, that you've got the right length because yeah, if you are wearing dress shoes and you're wearing those uh, jeans and they are just way too long, it's a really bad look. And that right there takes us to the section talking about shoes. Now, I've made entire videos on wearing jeans with dress shoes, which I will link to down in the description of today's video in case you want to go check that out after this one. But I will say that dress shoes with the right tight of a denim can be pulled off. So again, you want to go with something that's slim cut, something that has a taper at the bottom. You do not want to go with a boot cut. I mean, it sounds obvious, but I see so many guys trying to wear dress shoes with denim and they've got just too wide of a bottom. Boot cuts, as the name implies, are made for boots and that means they're going to have a wider opening at the bottom. Now, when it comes to the types of dress shoes, I do like to go more on the casual side. So loafers, slip-ons, things like that I think are perfectly fine. Avoid Balmoral, Oxfords, and Black. Those are going to be more for a suit. You don't want to go with anything that is, yeah, a whole cut. That's just a little bit too much. In general, go with something that's got a little bit of ornamentation on it. Maybe brogues, I think, are a great option, especially in a dark brown. But to be honest, and this is probably my personal preference, I love wearing boots with denim with a sports jacket. I find that, that is a very natural combination, especially if those boots are just got a little bit of a shine to them, maybe some brogues, maybe you want to bring in something that's got a very plain Chelsea. Uh, I just find that boots in general, especially with the denim, it just brings the whole combination together. You don't want to go with anything too casual though, because this is where boots can definitely skew over towards that being too casual. So no hiking boots, no military boots. You definitely want to go for more of a dress boot, maybe a laced dress boot, tons of options out there. But this right here is a great solid combination. And if they can be shined, take care of those boots, make sure that they are clean, looking good. Now let's talk about the situation. So wearing a suit jacket 
with jeans, sports jacket with jeans, blazer jacket with jeans. Understand that it's like a chain. It falls down to its weakest link. And unfortunately, jeans are never going to be formal, at least probably in my lifetime. But uh, this is just something that you have to accept the fact that if it calls for a suit, wearing a pair of jeans with a suit jacket is not a suit. A suit is a jacket and trousers made from the same material. And when most people mean it, they're not talking about anything in denim. They're talking about something in a worsted wool. So the denim is always going to bring down the level of formality. That being said, if it's your event, if it's an event that is casual. And this is really where this look shines. When everyone else is wearing something casual, maybe they're just all wearing button-down shirts, they're wearing a sweater, a long sleeve shirt, or whatever it may be, you walk in with that sports jacket, with that polo shirt, with the denim, with those great looking boots, that is a combination I absolutely love. And it fits so many situations in our dress down world, but understand that it needs to be the right situation. Don't violate the dress code, especially if somebody's trying to put on a party, they're expecting you know everyone to wear. Now, if you're down south and it's accepted, and again, this is where is a fine line and you can go in. And let me know in the comments below, you guys, what are situations you can wear a sports jacket and jeans? I want to hear from you guys. And really quick, let's talk about all the different fabric types that I think you can wear with a dark blue denim. And again, I'm getting specific there about the denim, but here are just tons. I mean, tweeds, you've got it in green, you've got brown. Harris tweed, if you're familiar, I mean, this is just some of the higher quality you're going to find out there. Shark skin, this is actually a suit type, but it's got a slight texture to it and it comes in a variety of colors. Seersucker, you're going to see this out there. Houndstooth, beautiful. Flannels, a wide variety of flannels. You will see these sometimes in bold patterns, but oftentimes just in a gray or a dark gray. And I think, again, this can be pulled off with denim. Corduroy, this is going to have, you're going to see seven whale, 11 whale, but corduroy, very casual, made from cotton. Camel hair, bird's eye, window pane. You're even going to see some madras jackets out there. And this is a really bright color, very lightweight, great for the summer. Herringbone, from a distance, a lot of times, especially if it doesn't have a contrast to it, it's going to look solid, but you get up close, you're going to see the pattern, but you will also see herringbone in a contrasting color. And this definitely has a strong pattern to it. You're going to see linens, you're going to see fresco, flannels, Hop sack out there. Hop sack looks solid from a distance. You get up close. It's going to have a very heavy weave to it, very breathable, perfect for the summer. And I also want to point out, if you choose not to wear a shirt with your blazer and jeans and you go shirtless, no, I'm not saying ever do that, but I am saying you can wear a polo. You can wear sweaters. Sweaters are such a great option and they really bring down the casualness of the whole look. So I get it. Not everyone wants to wear a collared shirt, sweaters just, but, but I like the combination, especially if you can mold, you know, go with the collar shirt with a v-neck sweater with a nice you know sports jacket then you've got that nice denim layered looks are just absolutely beautiful don't you think for this time of the year all right jen so what video to watch next well how about style mistakes to avoid unless you want to look old now nothing wrong with being a little bit more mature looking but you don't want to look like you're 54 when you are 24 right you you want to you want to feel good if you're 54 you don't want to look 94 you want to yeah you're out there i get it you're re, you know recently single out there dating a younger woman, you want to look good. So guys, I cover that in this video, how not to look old, style mistakes you want to avoid making.